In this video, we'll be going over the power distribution board and main 120 amp breaker. As the name suggests, the power distribution board distributes power to all the components of your robot. This is a 120 amp breaker. This is what you use to turn your robot on and off. This breaker will trip when your robot draws over 120 amps. Usually something draws that much current, something's wrong or you know it's shorting out. So this will skip and prevent your robot from catching on fire or shocking someone. This here is an Anderson connector. This is what you use to connect directly to, into your battery. It just has two thick leads here and connects really securely into your battery. There are many ways to get power out of your power distribution board. There are 8 40 amp WAGO connectors, 12 30 amp WAGO connectors, a 12 volt WAGO connector, a 24 volt connector, and a 5 volt WAGO connector. In FRC we use many different sizes of wire. The size of wire is measured in AWG, or American Wire Gauge. The smaller the number, the larger the wire. For our 30 to 40 amp circuits, these connectors on your power distribution board, you use a minimum size of 12 AWG. So you could use 12, 11, 10 AWG. This is used for your motor controllers and such. Your kit of parts comes with 10 gauge wire, but I suggest you buy 12 gauge wire to use for your motor controllers. It's much more flexible and easier to use. For 20 to 30 amp devices, we must use wire that is 14 gauge or bigger. This size of wire is used to power things such as your analog breakout and your digital sidecar. This is 18 gauge wire. It's used to go between the power distribution board and the analog breakout board, the power distribution board and the solenoid breakout board, and the power distribution board and the digital sidecar. You can use wire as small as 20 gauge between the power distribution board and the serial. You also use 20 gauge wire in between the power distribution board and the wireless bridge and for 5 amp circuits. For pneumatic valves, you can use wire as small as 24 gauge. The 40 amp connectors are used to power things such as motor controllers and spike relays, or anything that draws up to 40 amps. To use any 40 amp devices, you must use a 40 amp snap action breaker. What this does is make sure that your device doesn't short out and draw too much current, catch something on fire, or just generally fail and make an unsafe situation. You can tell which slot to put the breaker in based off of where these little lightning bolts are. So if I want to power these two, I put the breaker in here because there's a lightning bolt here pointing to these two. Before you attach any wires, make sure you twist them so that straggler wires don't go out and get shorted on something. To insert the wires, all you have to do is put your screwdriver in like this, pull up, and push your wire in you'll see a little door open up inside the WAGO connector. And just release and pull your screwdriver out. You can test it by just pulling on the wire. If you can pull it out, then you don't have a good enough connection. And try again. If you don't use a breaker and you try to turn on your power distribution board, you'll just get a little red light here indicating that you don't have a breaker. So if you see that, you know your breaker either isn't working or you haven't put one in. You have three different breakers to choose from for the 30 amp connectors. You could use a 30 amp breaker, a 20 amp breaker, or a 5 amp breaker depending on what device you're using. So the first thing you need to do is look at the documentation of your device and see how much current it needs to draw. In most cases you'll just use a 20 amp breaker. So say if we want to connect your wires here, you put the breaker in right here. After you make sure your wire is twisted, just stick your screwdriver in here and pull up until the window opens up big enough for you to put the wire in. And then test it the same way. If you can pull it out, it's not good enough. And that one's good enough. 
The 30 amp connectors are used to power things such as your analog in breakout board and your digital sidecar. To power your analog in breakout and digital sidecar, you'll need this type of waggle connector. It fits in just like this and supplies power to your device. Making a wire to connect into your analog in, digital sidecar, or CREO is not hard. All you have to do is put the connector in and note which cable is positive and which cable is negative. So you can see positives on the left and negatives on the right. So this one will be positive and this one will be negative. Now just make sure the polarity is correct on your connector and put in your wires. Just have to stick the screwdriver in that hole like that, pull it back, and put in your wire like this. Make sure there aren't any little straggler wires going anywhere. And release, and you got your cable in there. You can test this one the same way, just pull on it. If it comes out, you fail. If not, you're okay. These LEDs indicate whether each part of the power distribution board is working. The next connector we have here is a 12 volt WAGO out. This is used to power your radio. Your radio requires a 5 volt input, so this DC to DC converter takes the 12 volts coming out of your power distribution board and converts it into 5 volts at 5 amps. The way you make this is you take the red and black wires here and connect them into a WAGO connector and then plug it in right here. And on the other side, you connect the yellow wire to the positive or the inner part of this connector and the black to the outer part. And all you have to do is plug it into your radio. To make the cable to connect to your c -Rio, all you have to do is take your connector here and plug it into your power distribution board. Make sure you screw it down. Then take your red wire and put it in where it's labeled V. If it's not labeled, it's just the connector that's all the way to the left. Just put your wire in and screw it down. Then take your black wire and put it in next to it where it says C and screw that down. The C reel only requires two wires for the input. These other two wires are connect to your solenoid power input. On the part that goes into your C reel, the red wire goes on the right here and the black wire goes on the left. Make sure they're oriented correctly before you apply power. Then just screw it in the same way. This last connector here is used to supply power to your camera. All you have to do is strip the wires on your camera's power supply cable and put the red one into the connector that's labeled positive and the black one into the connector that's labeled negative. It's important to know that these shanks right here are not standard. They are metric. So make sure you do not use a standard nut on these or you will mess them up. 